So this was voted on over on my Patreon um, for the next uh, fan fiction idea. And you guys voted, and keep in mind, if you guys want to be part of the uh, polls and whatnot that affect videos here on YouTube as well as Patreon, uh, just hit the link below, head over to my Patreon, hit the first tier, that'll allow you access to do so. So it really became kind of close down to two of the, because uh, this was a versus fan fiction. We had like Batman versus Jormungand, Danny Phantom versus Predator, Darkstalkers versus Avatar, Far Cry versus Hitman, Mortal, Mortal Kombat versus Ninja Turtles, and Assassin's Creed versus Red Dead Redemption. But the two it really kind of came down to in a close matchup was Transformers versus Amphibia, and this one, who could actually be a crossover that happens. Like, it could be a legit crossover that comes out in some capacity. And that is Street Fighter versus DC Universe. Now, like I said, Street Fighter vs. DC Universe could actually happen. Like, Udon and DC Comics could actually, like, team up to do this crossover. Um, it, I mean, yeah, we have, um, Marvel, of course, the legendary Marvel crossovers with uh, Capcom um, that started with Street Fighter, and, uh, and it, it branched out from there. So... It wouldn't be too hard. I don't think we'll get a video game of it, but a comic book where the Street Fighter, ca where Capcom crosses over with D with DC Comics, I could uh, honestly see that. We have had a string of uh, Street Fighter crossovers uh, for a bit. Like obviously we had Ninja Turtles with Street Fighter, and then we had um, then we had. Uh, uh, We've also got, like, an SNK one going on in the comics. So, yeah. So, like I said, this is totally in the realm of possibility. So, without further ado, let's talk about Street Fighter versus DC Universe. So, the story begins in, uh, basically, there is an announcement from LexCorp that the next Street Fighter tournament will be sponsored by Lex Luthor. Now, obviously, this has kind of set off some alarms for some people within the Justice League. and Because they're like, well, we're, like... Whatever the, we like, they're aware of the Street Fighter tournaments, and they're also aware of like what that enthrall in that ensues too. Obviously, where there is a Street Fighter tournament, there is obviously the international terrorist known as Bison and Shadowloo. So there's kind of a lot of uh, like the Justice League are already like worried about that, and they've also called in like specialists who have handled the prob uh, the uh, threat of Shadowloo. Those being Chun Li, Cammy, and Guile. Um, they've basically been ha called in, uh, not as Justice League members, but as, like, uh, specialists to handle this situation. Now, obviously, they're aware that, like, Lex Luthor and Bison are probably working together for whatever means it is. So, it's now obvious that, like, for the street this Street Fighter tournament, um, they need to have, uh, certain people infiltrate this, uh, tournament and fight it and fight in it in order to get close to whatever Luthor and, and Bison are working on. So, it's decided, yeah, we'll go, you know, cer a certain number of us will go in. In fact, Luthor makes a speech, like, makes an announcement that, like, members of the Justice League are more than welcome to join in this, uh, it, it are more than welcome to participate in this particular tournament. My, uh, um, it will be a great asset to all of us. So, yeah, obviously, me uh, like, super uh, Clark's like, yeah, he's he's got something cooking up, so we need to, you know, many of us need to join in as possible. So, but a, there's a, there's basically a cap limit to it, so not everyone can join in on this Street Fighter tournament. It is decided of who can go. Um, so, Superman is about to join in, but they're like, Clark, you can't join. Uh, like, Clark, you can't join. They're like, why not? <laughs> and to which Batman's like, they literally think you're too powerful to join like they they are well aware that you are way too powerful um to be a part of this and clark's like Psh, fine so however diana like diana gets to join in batman of course is a lot uh, you know jumps in um black canary the question huntress green arrow um like uh martian manhunter is a part of it um the uh, uh, John John Stewart gets to be a part of it, 
and also like it's not so much that superman learns it's not that it's not so much that he's over uh, that they think he's overpowered it's more the long of luthor just wanted to keep superman out of it like that was kind of the thing was that <laughs> clark just goes of course luthor said no fucking asshole so this however gives superman a chance with other members of the league to figure out what's going on uh and what's the connection between the two so more or less what it is is that members of the league have to battle certain mem you know continue their fights with uh they also discover that there are member there are villains who are a part of this too like you have deathstroke you have cheetah you have black manta um you have bane um so you have a few ca some uh some other characters in here that participate in this street fighter match there is also a rogue element among all of this that rogue element is that akuma um, has been attracted to this as well, but not for the reason you think. You see, he's not after Ryu this time around, or looking for the strongest, uh, or some other strong fighter that's a part of the tournament. What it is, however, is that, um, what it basically is, is that Akuma wants to fight the strongest warrior of all, Superman. So, he, uh, so, that's whole, uh, Superman's whole story, is that Akuma wants to challenge and battle Superman and prove that he's stronger. Now, as for Luthor, yes, he is working with M. Bison, and they're basically working together to, like, harness a new power, uh, a new form of psycho power that will um, not only charge Luthor's next suit, but also create a new form, a new Amazo, uh, a new line of Amazo, uh, not just one Amazo, but, like, a whole number of Amazo androids that will um, uh, work for Shadaloo. So, you know, you got that go. You know, we have that going for us. So Superman does, in, like, Akuma does appear in Metropolis and, like, attacks the Daily Planet. Like, just punches it and he just gives it one good punch and takes out, like, a huge chunk of the building. Superman has to, like, desperately save everyone within the building and then, um, encounter, like, battles Akuma. And you may think, well, Akuma's no match for Superman. And to which I say... Dude destroyed an asteroid with only half his strength. So, I think he could put... I think he can put up a fight. So, Superman, like, battles Akuma. And he even, like, notes that, like, this dude punches as hard, almost as almost as hard as Mongol. Um, I can't... Uh, I can't let my guard down. And he's also got all the fight, like fighting styles that I've never seen before. So, Clark has to, like hold his own against the two of them while the rest of the justice league are wrapped up in this uh, whole tournament and you've got some like some fun fights like of course you'd have to have batman versus ryu you got like vega versus deathstroke chun li fights wonder woman um you have like um bane fighting hugo a lot at, like guile taking on um booster gold a lot of fun uh, like a, a lot of fun uh crossover battle between the two um universes Eventually, it does culminate into Bison unleashing the uh, Psycho Mazos, as he calls them, um, where the both the Street Fighter and the and the members of the DC Universe have to like team up in order to stop the Psycho Mazos. While meanwhile, Superman and Akuma's fight uh, rages on. Um, eventually, Superman does defeat Akuma in the fight, and he's e and even Akuma's like. I've never encountered a warrior such as you, Superman. You have my respect. Because remember, Akuma doesn't uh, like Akuma. Just wants to fight people who are strong. It's almost like an evil version of Goku. But he does. It, he is basically like, I'll fight you again when I am stronger, and next time I will kill you. And he's like, I doubt that, Akuma. So Superman comes rocketing back to help out to stop the uh, alliance between Luthor and Bison, and essentially, like. Luthor puts on his psycho, his new psycho armor, uh, to fight super, uh, you know, to fight Superman. But that's when he realizes uh, uh, Bison betrayed him and tries to mi like mind control through the armor, leading to Superman fighting and defeating Bison. The psycho uh, mazos are disrupted and destroyed, and the day is saved thanks to the Justice League and the Street Fighters. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much Street Fighter versus DC Universe. It's kind of condensed. I didn't want to make this too long, but that's the rough overdraft of the, of the whole thing. 
So you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of Street Fighter versus, D uh, versus DC Universe? Did you guys like it, hate it? Comment below, let me know. Once again, I'd like to thank everyone who sent in, uh, who voted for this one. Again, it was really close, and I might still do Transformers versus Amphibia, um, which was the runner-up poll. I get a few ideas for that one. So I might, or I may or may not do that one in the future. We'll, uh, we'll see. But yeah, you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it, and what DC and Street Fighter fights, if this was an actual comic, like let's say this was, if this was an actual comic, like what fights would you like to see in a Street Fighter DC Universe crossover? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.